Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of Multiplex Entertainment and the Movie War Zone community. I'm back. After what was a pretty handy defeat of uh, poor Eli McKay. Look, he, he tried to give me his best, but unfortunately the cards just weren't in his favor. And that means now I get to face somebody I've wanted for a very, very long time. Now, a little history lesson here real quick, folks. Back in 2018, I faced Michael Campbell with Arena Muha in a team tournament back in full metal. This was back during their team's tournament. And who was his partner at the time? Oh, yeah, that guy who, uh, depending on when this gets released, either will be your new movie trivia Schmodown singles champion or the guy who gave Dan Merle the fight of his life. So, Michael, I've wanted this for a long time. Because you robbed me of my chance to go for a team title in Full Metal. And I can't take my anger out on Paul anytime soon because, well, he's up in the big leagues now. But that said, I'm, n I'm an idiot if I sleep on you. You are a damn good competitor, and I expect nothing but a great fight from you, sir. So let's have at it. May a better man win. I'm here for uh, the second match in uh, the tournament. And even though I won my first match, I still I wasn't exactly happy with how I performed, especially in round three. So that is a, a scary position for any uh, opponent to be in when uh, I, I won, but I still feel like I can, I can improve. Um, I'm very confident today, but I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm going to win, I should say. If Chris wins, I am very okay with that. He's a worthy competitor, and that's the way it should be. Uh, he's really good, and <laughs> he's got a reputation for a good reason. Uh, I think he's still working his way back into the swing of things, so I might be able to take advantage of that, but I think it's going to be a great match, and uh, I can't wait to see how it plays out. Let's do it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Multiplex Movie Warzone. Uh, this is a round two match. I want to say our one of our last round two matches that we have. If this isn't the last, this is the second to last. I don't know when this gets uploaded. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is a really good match. We've got Chris Doman going up against Michael Campbell. I think this is going to be a really good match. But before uh, we bring in our uh, competitors, uh, Ryan, how are you feeling uh, about this match? Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me here uh, tonight, Caleb. And secondly, this is going to be a great match. This tournament overall has really been really well put together. We had some great promising rookies, some up-and-coming competitors, and we also got some of the veterans trying to make their way towards getting that title shot and hopefully becoming the champion one day. But, man... Campbell versus Skywalker, Skywalker versus Campbell. That is something to definitely be talking about in the in the chat rooms and in the social media communities around the world. And this is definitely going to be a really good match between two, arguably two of the best we've we've seen we've seen here in these leagues and thus far. So let's get this thing rolling. I'm excited. Yeah, definitely. I think this is uh, going to be a really good match. Uh, so let's let's bring these uh, two competitors into the ring. So. You know, introducing first with the record of one win, zero defeats, we've got Chris Skywalker Doman representing Dedicated to Art. Chris, how are you feeling about this match? I'm doing great, although uh, not to toot my own horn, but I believe that's also with one knockout, correct? Uh, I believe it was a TKO, but oh, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Sorry, sorry. Humble no, break, okay. humble break. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. And introducing second... Uh, with a record of two wins, two defeats, it is Michael the Golden God Campbell. Michael, how are you feeling about this match? Uh, feel good. Uh, it's very cold, so that's it. Okay, let's do this indeed. So, uh, you, each competitor is going to be getting eight questions in eight different categories. Uh, they're going to be writing their answers down on a whiteboard or piece of paper in the preferred. This will be for round one. If they get the question right, they get a point. If they get it all eight right, then they get a bonus question. You guys all know how it works. Okay, so I will be giving you your first question in the category of biopics or biopics, if you're Mark Ellis. Man on the Moon 
centers around what real life comedian? My favorite part is just the REM song. Hmm. <laughs> I still haven't seen this all the way through. Oh, really? That's surprising. I know, uh, I know. So behind the eight ball three, again. Two, one, pens down. Let's start with Michael. Andy, are you sleeping on Elvis? <laughs> and Chris. Andy Kaufman. That is correct. Oh, right. Let's try okay. to mark that hey, down. Ryan, a second question. Yes, yes, sir. All right, gentlemen, your next question comes in the category of romance. Romance. Who stars as Violet in the five-year engagement? Have you ever been engaged for five years, Ryan? Heavens no. Has he even been engaged? Once That's again, the answer would be no, <laughs> I have not. I have not Sorry, found Ryan. I have not found my lowest Four, lane yet, but I'm sure she's out three, there somewhere. Two, one, and Gilman. Emily Blunt. And Michael. Emily Blunt. All right, two for two. Yep. Okay, next question. Coming in the category of dramas, the category that you save for your mama. <sighs> What is the profession of Judd Hirsch's character in the film Ordinary People? Have you ever seen this film, Ryan? Keep taking a shot. And if you're watching this, uh, audiences, yes or no. This is another movie Ryan has not seen. Take another shot. Four, three, two. I've heard good things one, about though. Michael. He's a therapist. And Doman. I said divorce lawyer. He is a therapist. Mm -hmm. All right, gentlemen, your next question is going to come in the category of comedies. Comedies. <laughs> ha. <laughs> Jeez. Anywho, your question is thus. Three Kings centers around three soldiers' quest to find and steal what? This is a comedy? I know this sounds like a very odd way to. Put I this do in a not category. think this was supposed to be in the category of comedy. Supposed to be in the category of war. Must have been a mix-up in the question. Okay, thanks for the clarification. Good thing I didn't write that. So yes, so in the question, category please. of war films, okay. category of war movies. Okay. All right, category of war movies. Three kings centers around soldiers' quest to try and steal what? Because Domin, you did say repeat, right? Or did you not? I, I, I did, but he was in the middle of starting the question over again. Oh. So I, I mean, you, look, it's your choice, your call. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Because yeah. five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Uh, Michael. Diamonds. Incorrect, Doman. I said gold. That is correct. So no perfect rounds tonight, and our competitors are all tied up. In category of classics, in Harvey, Harvey is James Stewart's imaginary friend who is what kind of animal? And he's six feet, six feet, three and a half inches. Thank you for that bonus information. Jeez. Five, four. Three, two, one. Doman. Rabbit. And Michael. Rabbit. That is correct. We would have ex Last also player. accepted Bunny. Oh, hmm? no, yeah, that's true. That's true. Would you have accepted Bunny Rabbit? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, moving on. Your next question hopefully is not mislabeled, and that's going to come in the category of directors. Directors. Who directed the film Chinatown? I realized what happened. We had a comedy question coming up, and for some reason, those two labels must have been We're, switched around. Oh, I see, I see what you did now. Okay. Five, four. Three, two, one, pens down, Michael. Redacted. 
<laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. Roman Polanski. Wow. <laughs> oh, gee. Woo. Okay. Next question. Category of comedies, not war movies, comedies. Mm-hmm. In Lock Hard, the Dewey Cox story, Dewey has lost which of his five senses? I really like this movie, Ryan. So Top trailer, 20 favorite movies of all time. I saw the trailer and I was like, sell, sell, sell. Looks like garbage. But then well, again, the trailer, the trailer, the trailer, the trailer, trailer is kind of exciting. Okay, Four. do you not like good Three. movies? I guess Two. I don't. Listen One. to the soundtrack. Hands down, Michael. Maybe. Smell? And Domen. Smell. That is correct. Do I not like good movies? Of course I do. I'm just, you know, kind of picky about it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Gentlemen, your last question is going to come in the category of animated films. Animated. These are films that are drawn by hand or on a computer. (laughs) What is the name of the supervillain voiced by Steve Carell in Despicable Me? This is a trilogy or quadrilogy, if you count the spinoff, that I have not seen. I saw these movies as a 10-year-old. At least this one. So you were 10 years old two years ago. Okay. Four. Three. Gosh, you are so two, young, man. One. Pens down. Doman. Grew. And Michael. Grew. Okay. That was correct. Uh, all right. So that is our final question in the round one. And if I am not mistaken, both competitors are tied at seven. Mm-hmm. Only missing one point each. Okay. So, with that, we are beginning into round two, which will be our wheel round. Uh, we're going to be having five, or sorry, ten categories on our lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com, including spinners and opponents' choice. If you get, you get it one spin. If you like what you spin, you can keep it, or you can spin again, and but then you're stuck with whatever you get. You get five questions in whatever category you get. If you get it right, you get two points. You can go to multiple choice for one. Or if you get it wrong, the opponent gets a chance to seal. And the categories on our lovely wheel tonight are James Earl Jones, 70s movies, Michael Strength of James Juan, Binner's Choice, Mel Brooks, which is Doman's Strength, Musicals, Beauty pageant movies, Anna Perna, which is Michael's strength, opponent's choice, and Doman's strength of movie release dates. So, uh, since we do have a tie, Michael, you are the higher ranked competitor. So, would you like to uh, spin first or defer? I'll defer. Okay, so Doman, uh, this will be your spin. Did you land on the category of James Earl Jones film? Spin again. Okay, spinning again. Love you, J.E.J., but... Uh... And you land on your strength of Mel Brooks. Okay. So, Mel Brooks. Uh, Ryan, would you like to give Chris Doman his questions in the category of Mel Brooks? Yes, sir, as I scroll down to find it. Oh, there it is. Lovely. All right, Chris. Your first question in the category of Mel Brooks is as follows. In Young Frankenstein, Frankenstein and the Monster perform what song? If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> that is correct for two points in an uh, eloquent I, singing voice. Can I challenge? You didn't do the click. Afterwards. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. And, and plus, I, I didn't do it correctly. I didn't, I didn't do it as... Point on the Ritz! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. We're not judging uh, anyone's singing voice. We're just determining whether or not you can answer the question correctly. That's all. But have no fear. You have a good voice so far. Anywho, your next you. question in the category of Mel Brooks as we try to gather ourselves together. Uh, how many movies directed by Brooks has Madeline Kahn appeared in? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, 
Just in case I get it wrong, that way Campbell can only steal one point, give me multiple choice just to be on the safe side. Your multiple choice options are A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, or D, 4. I want to say 4. That is correct for a point. Can I right. what I'm at? Yeah. Your next question in the category of Mel Brooks. What is the name of Lone Star's ship in Spaceballs? Oh, no. Uh, multiple choice. Damn it. Your multiple choice options are A, Eagle 5, B, Spaceball 1, C, Mega Maid 7, or D, Uranus 2. D. I am sorry that it's hey, incorrect. Michael, hey. chance for one point steal. Hey, Eagle Five. Oh, I'm sorry, say it again. Eagle Five? That is correct for a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, You're I was thinking of the, the bumper sticker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, he has a way with humor. Anywho, your next question in the category of Mel Brooks for Chris is... In the 12 chairs, the characters are searching for a chair that contains what? Oh, Brent, don't do something now. Multiple choice. <laughs> Your options are A, gold, B, jewels, C, silver, or D, government secrets? D. Say that again? D, as in dog. Government I'm sorry, that's in, that incorrect. Michael, chance for one point steal? Jules. Jules is correct for a point. And your last question, Chris, in the category of Mel Brooks is thus. Besides best original and adapted screenplay... What is the only other Oscar category that Mel Brooks has been nominated in? Well, you are not asking the kind of questions I was hoping for. Five. Uh, multiple Four. choice. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, best director, B, best original song, C, best picture, or D, best editing? Best original song. That is correct for a point. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Uh, am, I on a, am I on a bit of a lag? Um... Say cat right now. Cat. No, you are not on a leg. Okay. I think I was, but okay. I think I'm good now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Michael, this will be your spin. Oh, and the score is currently 11 to 9. Doman in the lead by two points. And you get the category of James Earl Jones. Would you like James, to keep that? You don't again? get it, man. You don't get it. Spin again. <laughs> okay. Disrespect to James Earl Jones all throughout this match. So much for building it. They will come. Or he will come, excuse me. And you land in Dome and Franks of movie release dates. Movie release dates. Or you can't. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I was going to ask if you wanted to spin again. I was like, you can't spin again. Anyway, I will give you your questions in the category of movie release dates. What year saw the release of Stardust? 2007. That is correct for two points. Next question, category movie release dates. What year saw the release of a film in the Lethal Weapon, James Bond, and Karate Kid franchises? 1989. That is correct for two points. What year saw the release of Wayne's World 2? 1993. That is correct for two more points. Mm -hmm. 
What year saw the release of An American in Paris, The African Queen, and Showboat? 1951. Correct for two more points. Oh, my goodness. Did you make that one any easier for him? And what year saw the – was – sorry, let me repeat that. What year was the Rocky Horror Picture Show released? Jesus Christ. Can't risk this deal. It's between, I know it's 75 or 76. Uh, multiple choice. Okay. Multiple choice options are A, 1975. B, 1976, C, 1977, or D, 1978? 75. 75. Incorrect. Chris for the one-point steal. What? Wait, hold on. He said 75? Yeah. It was 1975. Challenge. Okay. Doman challenging in the favor of his opponent. Uh, well, I'm. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll just let me check that. Okay, the question uh, is in fact incorrect. Uh, I don't know how that happened. Mm -hmm. um, Might have been a typo or something. Yep. Um, 1975 was the correct answer. I had 1976. That was my bad. Uh, 75 is correct. Uh, so that is my bad. That's what I get for being honest. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All <right>, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, that, that is my bad. Uh, no, okay. All right. So with that, though, that does uh, cap off Michael's round. Uh, despite getting dome strength, Michael... Uh, did get a lot of points in that round, uh, going, uh, getting 18 points with uh, going 10 for 10 in that. So very, very good round for Michael there. But uh, Chris is still in there, uh, still hanging in there with 11 points, and anything can happen. We go into round three, which is our pick your poison round. We're going to give our competitors uh, what they would like for their one, their two, their three, and their four-pointer, and they will be able to pick from the following six categories. 1980s, action-adventure. Sci-fi fantasy, family films, classics, and directors. We will let them pick their strength right now, and we will get back to you right now. Okay, our competitors have picked what they would like for their one, two, three, and four pointers. Michael has picked his one in 80s, his two in action adventure, his three in classics, and his four in directors, whereas Doman has picked his one in action adventure, two in directors, three fantasy sci-fi, and four in family films. So, Doman... Chris, I'm going to be giving you your one pointer category of action and adventure. Yep. Your one pointer. The Liam Neeson film Nonstop is primarily set on what form of transportation? On a train. Incorrect. It's a plane. A plane. The oh. commuter is the one that's on a train. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. So still to you for the two pointer. I think yes, you are you are still in this. Uh, but you cannot if I'm not mistaken. He can't miss his three and his he, four. He can yeah. he can miss this okay, one. Okay, he can miss this one. Okay. But he can't miss the three and the four, bottom line. I'm bad at math, guys. Okay. Two pointer and directors. Who directed 2011's the Descendants. Alexander Payne. Correct for two points. Okay. So still with you for the three-pointer? And... Yes, you cannot miss this one. Category fantasy sci-fi. In 1997's Gattaca, what is the disability of Jude Law's character? 
He's paralyzed from the waist down. That is correct for three points. Okay. So your four pointer, if you hit it, you send it back over to Michael. If you miss, Michael wins by TKO. Four pointer category family films. What is the name of the dog voiced by Michael J. Fox in Homeward Bound The Incredible Journey? Repeat the question. What is the name of the dog voiced by Michael J. Fox in Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey? Just doing one of two names. Chance. Correct for four points. I almost said shadow. I'm like, no, that's not right. Okay. Uh, note, note to self, look up characters with names Chance in the Robo <laughs> War <laughs> You're not wrong. You are not wrong. So, oh, Ryan, man. it does go over to you to ask Michael his questions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will. One be player in eighties. Yep. Got it. Found it. All righty. This has been a great match thus far. And as we continue on, Michael, your first question is going to come in the category of 80s. This is your one point question. Here we go. Category of 80s. Who directed the film Platoon? Oliver Stone. Correct for a point. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Your next question is going to come in the category of action adventure. Action adventure. This is your two so pointer. Like all, all these next three are basically just for the win. And if I miss, yeah, there's no sudden death. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. so why yes. did I just put all that pressure on myself? I, sure. But yes, you're right. If you hit this, you will have you will have won the game. And uh, if you hit any of these, you win. If potentially. You hit them all, you lose. Yeah, potentially. We'll see. All right. Next question in the category of action adventure. This is for two points and potentially the win. Action adventure, two points. In under siege. Who plays ex-CIA operative Bill Stranix? Harvey Keitel. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We were actually looking for Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. All right, your next question is going to come in the category of classics. Classics, this is for three points and potentially the win. Here we go. What actress stars as Lena Eisgarth in Alfred Hitchcock's Suspicion? Five, four, uh, repeat, three. Repeat. All right. Category of classics, three points. What actress stars as Lena Eisgarth and Alfred Hitchcock's Suspicion? Fuck, I think this is wrong. Uh, Ingrid Bergman? I am sorry, that is incorrect. We were looking for Joan Fontaine. Joan Fontaine. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it comes down to this, your four-point question. In the category of directors, directors, four-pointer, potentially the win. Here we go. What was the directorial debut of Joel Schumacher? Five, four, three. Uh, re repeat. Okay. How many? Do I have one left? You have one left. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. All right. In the category of directors, what was direct? What? Excuse me. What was the directorial debut of Joel Schumacher? Five, 
five, four, uh, three. Yeah, let me use my last, last repeat. Okay. Category of directors. What was the directorial debut of Joel Schumacher? Uh, Send Elmo's file. And your winner, Christopher Woo! Skywalker Dolman. We were actually looking for the incredible shrinking woman. The incredible shrinking woman was the answer to that four point question in directors. That was, that was a great match. That was a, a fantastic match. Took the words right out of my mouth and it's a gif I post on social media all the time. That truly was a great match all the way through. What? I didn't know that you post that gif on like everyone. Next you'll be telling uh, Scott me Mance, you don't see it on the Facebook pages? What's the matter with you? Anyway. Ryan, the well, next you're pages. telling me you post that Leonardo DiCaprio, now you have my attention picture all the time. Yeah, but like, that's a meme. That's not a gif. Different different parts of the media. Anyway, I'm, back to you at the desk. I'm being sarcastic with you. Right? Anyway, uh, let's go over uh, to our winner uh, to see how he feels about the match. Skywalker, how are you feeling? Okay, so I'll admit I was hoping for a couple more, like at least another producer's question, a Blazing Saddles question. I for sometimes forget about 12, chair, 12 chairs. I, yeah, that was not my uh, shy moment in Mel Brooks, but uh, I'm, I'm just happy. Like, I'm happy with how I did in round three. I'm happy I did in round one. I'm not happy with how I did in round two. And I know that if I'm going to keep, succeeding in this tournament i have to pick strengths that maybe i just have a more solid foundation of knowledge in and that clearly was not the case with me and mel brooks yeah yeah well, sometimes it is you know when when you pick a when you pick a strength like that when there are only so many movies you know you gotta you gotta just study all of them because if there's one you don't know you never know how deep a cut might be from that movie you know um yeah. But yeah, so uh, your next match, you will be facing uh, the MacGuffin, Mr. Brian Michaels, one of our showrunners. How do you feel about that? Ooh, man. Okay, I I am not in an envi enviable position, but I'm not going to lie. Uh, Brian is someone that I've always wanted to take on. As soon as I started hearing this guy's name and started seeing some of his some of his uh, work, you know what? I I'm excited. I'm excited to see what he can do. And I just know that if I get a better round two, I know I can take him and I know I can get myself to the semifinals. And this is not to you know discredit him as a competitor, because like I said, he, obviously he wanted to be involved in this because he knows his shit. But I'm not scared of him. So, Brian. I'll see you in the ring. OK, <laughs> fighting words from Mr. Delman, Michael. My team partner in a in another uh, universe, another a different a multiverse, if you will. Uh, how how are you feeling about this, buddy? Uh, I feel like okay with the win. I sort of made a error in round uh, three where I should have looked at uh, like how many points he could have gotten maximum, and then sort of put the categories where they should be for like for the win. Um, I sort of played it as if we we're a tie, which is, I think, a bit of a strategic, strategic error. Uh, but I mean, I choked. I missed three straight. Uh, it's completely my fault. Um, it's what happens, you know. Round three is the great equalizer, as they say. Uh, Doman came to play in round three. I didn't, and that's the that's the match. So I'm cool with it. Like, you know, wins and losses happen. Uh, I lost today. That's on me. So yeah. Good luck to congrats to Diamond and good luck. Yeah, well, you know, you you'll be back, and uh, I I don't want to say exactly uh, who it is, but I know that uh, you do have a a team uh, in Warzone now. Uh, that is not yeah. me, but you do have a, a teammate. Uh, I don't want to say too much, uh, but I will say uh, everybody else who's in the team league, get ready because. Uh, I'm kind of shaking in my boots a little bit. That's all I'll say right now. Um, wow. 
But uh, I, I don't want to say too much or to give anything away or anything like that. Uh, but uh, that being said, I think this was a really good match. I think both competitors played very well. It's just a case of, you know, like Michael said, round three is the great equalizer. And that is just what it is. So from me, Caleb, Little Bob Bowman, from our winner, Skywalker, from the golden god, Michael Campbell, and the quote, Ryan Perm was in my co-host, this is Multiplex Movie Warzone. A bye bye a bye bye